Does karma truly have its way of circling back to us? Is it an invisible force that keeps a tally of our actions, waiting for the right moment to dish out what we deserve? Let's delve into the depths of these questions by pondering a tale that might just make us rethink our actions. Once upon a time, in a bustling city, lived a man named Rupert. Rupert was a successful businessman, known far and wide for his ruthless tactics. He had a reputation for being harsh and unforgiving, treating those around him with little respect or kindness. Rupert had a loyal assistant, Molly, who bore the brunt of his harshness. Molly was a kind-hearted woman who worked diligently, hoping that her boss would one day recognize her efforts. But Rupert seemed blind to her dedication, often belittling her and taking her for granted. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and months into years. Molly stayed patient, believing that her kindness would one day change Rupert. But the more she tried, the worse Rupert seemed to become. He thrived on his power, using it to demean and belittle anyone who crossed his path. Then, one day, Rupert's world came crashing down. His business started to crumble, his reputation tarnished, and he found himself in the throes of a financial crisis. He felt lost, desperate, and alone. The man who once stood tall and mighty was now reduced to a shadow of his former self. Meanwhile, Molly, who had long left Rupert's employment, was flourishing in her new job. Her hard work, dedication, and kindness had not gone unnoticed. She was loved and respected by her colleagues and was quickly climbing the corporate ladder. As Rupert's world continued to spiral downwards, he couldn't help but reflect on his past actions. He realized that he had treated Molly and others around him poorly, and he started to wonder if this was Karma's way of teaching him a lesson. Our story ends here, but it leaves us with some intriguing questions. Was Rupert's downfall a result of his actions? Did his harsh treatment of others set in motion a series of events that led to his ultimate demise? Was this karma at work? To summarize, karma isn't about revenge or punishment. It's about understanding that our actions have consequences. It's about realizing that how we treat others can come back to affect us in ways we may not expect. It's about learning to treat others with kindness, respect and compassion because what we put out into the world often comes back to us. In the case of Rupert, his harsh treatment of others seemed to have set him on a path of downfall. Conversely, Molly's kindness and perseverance earned her respect and success. So it seems that karma might not be an invisible force, but rather a reflection of our actions and their consequences. The story of Rupert and Molly serves as a reminder that our actions matter. It nudges us to be kind, to be respectful, to be compassionate. Because in the end, karma has a subtle way of reminding us that we reap what we sow.